हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू एविएशन ए टू जेड एज यू ऑल नो फ्रॉम 25 मार्च टू 14 अप्रैल देयर इज कंप्लीट लॉकडाउन इन इंडिया व्हाई नॉट वी यूज दिस 21 डेज टू मेक मोस्ट आउट ऑफ अस वी कैन इन्वेस्ट दिस 21 डेज एज वी हैव 24 बाय 7 फ्री टाइम फॉर आवर स्टडीज एक्टिविटीज एंड मच मोर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू एग्जैक्टली दैट and how to prepare so let's get started i have divided this video in following stages number 1 which module you need to give according to categories number 2 how to plan your upcoming modules and best combination to get better results number 3 how to prepare any modules in just 21 days a special request to all of you Don't worry about 21 days. It will pass easily. Do study, watch TV, play indoor games, talk with your parents, grandparents, tell them to share their experience. With all this, we will succeed and show that India is diverse but has unity and strength. Without taking much of your time, let's see our first part. Which module you need to give according to categories? For category A, you need to give module three. From module five to module ten, eleven A or eleven B, module twelve, module fifteen or sixteen, and at last, module seventeen A. For category P one point one, which is aeroplane turbine, we have module three to ten, eleven A, fifteen, and seventeen A. For category B one point two, aeroplane piston, we need to give. Module three to module ten, eleven B, sixteen and seventeen A. For category B one point three, which is helicopter turbine, we have module three to ten, module twelve and module fifteen. For category B one point four, helicopter piston, we have module three to ten, module twelve and module sixteen. For category B two, which is avionics, we have three to ten, thirteen and fourteen. At last, for category B three. Piston engine, non-pressurized aeroplanes, 2,000 kg MTOM and below. They need to give 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 B, 8, 9 B, module 10, 11 C and 16. Now let's understand a marks distribution for all categories. Module 3 is of 52 marks and you need 39 marks for passing and is applicable for category B1, B and B2. For all category of A, it's 20 marks and you need 15 marks. While for B3, it's 24 marks and passing marks is 18 marks. Module 4 for B2 is 40 marks and you need 30 marks for clearing. For B1, it's 20 marks and you need 15 marks for passing. For B3, it's 8 marks only and passing marks is 6. Module 5 for B2, it's 72 marks. and you need 54 marks for passing for b1.1 and b1.3 it's 40 marks and you need 30 marks for b1.2 and b1.4 it's 20 marks and you need 15 marks for category a and b3 it's 16 marks and you need 12 marks for passing module 6 it's of 72 marks for b1 60 marks for both b2 and b3 and 52 marks for category a To know minimum passing marks of all module refer to CR66 page 81 or check out my Instagram post link in description Module 7A for B1 is of 80 marks for category A it's of 72 marks and for B2 it's of 60 marks 7B is for B3 and it's of 60 marks as well Likewise for mod 8 it's 20 marks for all applicable categories Module 9A is of 20 marks for category A, B1 and B2 while 9B is of 16 marks for B3 similarly. Module 10 is of 40 marks for both category B1 and B2 and for category A and B3 is of 32 marks. Module 11A for B1.1 is of 140 marks and for A1 is of 108. 11B for B1.2 is of 100 marks and for A2 is 72 marks. 11C for B3 is 60 marks only. Next, we will see module 12. Module 12 is of 
128 marks for B1.3 and B1.4 100 marks for category A3 and A4 Module 13 is for B2 Avenix and is of 180 marks and its biggest AME module while Module 14 for B2 as well is of 24 marks Module 15 for B1.1 and B1.3 is of 92 marks and for category A1 and A3 is 60 marks Module 16 is for B1.2 and B1.4 and is of 72 marks while for A2 and A4 is 52 marks Last we have Module 17A for B1.1 and B1.2 is 32 marks while for A1 and A2 is just 20 marks Module 17B is dedicated to B3 and is of 28 marks Remember 75% is passing for exam and you will get 75 seconds per question I will soon make a video on few updates in DGC exam and its site so subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to never miss our video Moving on if you failed for 3 times in one module whether it's consecutive or not it will be blocked and only after one year you are allowed to give it Let's see how to plan your DGCA module in my video on how to cope up with failure, as I mentioned, we fail because we don't plan properly and give multiple modules without thinking properly. Like friend de raha hai, to maybe the same dunga. Believe me, this is wrong. I am telling you, you have complete freedom in your hand to choose your module. Don't follow me if you think you have better combination than what I am suggesting. Honestly saying, listen to everyone but do what you think is best for you so if you are a beginner and have many doubts which module you should give start with module 3 because you are giving it for first time and it's one of the lengthiest module if you clear it then your confidence will be boosted so start with module 3 but you don't like electrical much want to give it later then go for module 8 which is very knowledgeable so start with 3 or module 8 it's your choice and if you are brilliant and have faith in yourself then go for both module 3 and 8 in second attempt go for 8 and 9 if you have already given 3 else choose 3 and 9 if 8 is given and if you have given 3 and 8 in first attempt then Go for module 4 and module 9. Why? This because 4 and 9 is very different and if you got bored with electronics you can jump to human factor. In third attempt give module 10 only and your aim should not to just clear the module but to know what it is. To know everything about module 10 it will take 5 to 6 months. We were actually lucky to get one of the best instructor probably in India who taught us CAR but you need to read, remember and most important to revise follow these 3 hours of success till now you have cleared 5 modules for 4th attempt you are fully confident so go for module 6 and 7 or if you felt any of above give it with module 6 and 7 later because module 6 and 7 are similar yet difficult and you need to remember many things together and my personal suggestion is to give module 6 only in 5th attempt go for module 5 and module 7 or if already given 7 then go for module 5 and module 17 both are medium modules but yet very important if you are from Avenix, you can go for 5 and 14. In 6th attempt, go for model 15 which is gas turbine engine. And if you are from Avenix, then you have the lengthiest module which is model 13, aerodynamic structure and system. Probably after 6th attempt, you have completed 2 years course and you got 9 to 10 modules and it's quite good at 7th attempt go for module 11 which is turbine aeroplane and structure and system or if you are b1.3 then go for helicopter turbine which is module 12 
Now question is it seems easy on paper to plan and difficult in practical but guys believe me DGC models are challenging but not tough to clear and aviation a to z is always with you If those students who have failed and want guidance on planning I will be glad to guide them free of cost on WhatsApp Instagram or on call as well because i understand the importance and i don't want you to make lose your money you are capable for clearing the modules and together we will moving towards our last stage and phase of this video let's discuss how to prepare any module in just 21 days first of all don't take it as challenge but remember this time will never come back You are at home for 24 by 7 for continuous 21 days. This is not a dream and I know many of you are facing difficulty but we all need to fight together and I know we will for sure by giving this 21 days to our study and family. If you are giving for example module 15 in next attempt first of all know which books you should refer. I have already made video on books link at right hand side upper corner or in description down below Then try to get experience about that module from your colleagues and instructors on call and they will be glad to guide you because we all have time Next I have also made videos on tips and tricks for clearing module 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 and 15 and soon be making for others as well then we need to make a schedule in which at least try to give 5 hours to study not continuously as obvious but in break and including break like make schedule according to your comfort but try to fix this 5 hours in it let's see how to utilize this 5 hours productively read a book for 40 minutes then take 10 minutes break after 15 minutes do some other activities like watching tv or play games etc whatever you like then for 20 minutes revise what you read earlier for 40 minutes a quick read also highlight important points when you read first to make it quick for revision likewise for next 40 minutes read new topic and follow it so after doing it thrice you have utilized 3 hours and 30 minutes including break break you can take any time in between 50 minutes so you are left with 1 hour and 30 minutes these are really crucial take previous year questions and try to solve that questions you just read the topic of that and try to make short notes and for approximately 1 hour you will be done in next 20 minutes mark that question in your book as dgc question or important question next day go through it for 10 minutes this is really important and applicable method and i learned this from my dear friend abhay thakur who is really brilliant also other friends try to teach me a lot from their brilliance thanks to all You all must follow this for 21 days and after that it will be your habit and I hope you find it effective as it will improve your reading writing and remembering skill If you got any other better suggestion please let us know down below in comment section Please take an oath to stay at home unless it's an emergency stay at home stay safe and keep learning keep watching aviation it to say Jai Hind